Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be looking at a problem uh, that I saw in Brilliant. It's, it is claimed to be from the Harvard-MIT math tournament, although there's no specifications on, you know, what problem it is. Uh, but basically we have a triangle here, ABC, with lengths, um, I forgot the numbering for this one, uh, 4, 5, and 6 are the lengths as such. Uh, CX is an angle bisector, so these angles are congruent, and uh, XN is parallel to AB, and XM is parallel to uh, AC. So obviously right off the bat we have this lovely parallelogram here, um, and uh, you know we can see that uh, these uh, these angles must be congruent because AXN is similar to ABC and so basically you have these two angles which usually add up to 180 minus this angle which is this angle so this angle is equal to this angle um, which I guess is a, a rather true fact of parallelograms anyway uh, but basically we can use the angle bisector theorem uh, here to compute the lengths AX and BX which are 2 and 3 because the ratio 2 to 4 has to equal the ratio 3 to 6 which it does um, and now like I said since AXN is similar to ABC we can use this uh, fact that we've scaled down in this direction. We've scaled down by 2 over 5 because 5 is mapped to 2 uh, and so this length is 12 over 5. And now uh, on this side right we've scaled down by 3 over 5 because 5 goes to 3 uh, so the side length of 4 becomes 12 over 5. So now, of course, since these two uh, side lengths are congruent, then so are these, and we have a rhombus. So, in fact, we have 90 degree angle here. And now we wish to find, uh, since we wish to find, what we're trying to find here, I don't think I specified, was the length mn. And uh, so, what we can do is find CX and then we can find MN fairly easily. So CX is the length of an angle bisector which is given by the formula 4 times 6 minus 2 times 3. So in other words the product of these two sides minus the product of these two lengths is equal to CX squared. And uh, this just becomes 18. So CX squared is equal to 18. Now we also know that um, we have a right triangle here with this length here, which is uh, CX over 2. And then we can use the Pythagorean theorem to get MN over 2. And that is uh, MN, or I'll just write x x over 2 squared is equal to 12 over 5 squared which is 144 over 25 minus cx cx over 2 quantity squared which is really 18 over 4 and um, I don't have the numbers written down so really this is as far as I'll go but Obviously, from here you just you know calculate whatever this stuff is and 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 solve for x uh, explicitly. Uh, but I believe numerically it's around 2.244, so that's just a, a check. Um, but I don't really. This is pretty much the, this is just the solution. But uh, this would be the way you carry on with the calculations and such. But anyway. Um, 
is actually shorter than uh, I had sold this like uh, uh, maybe a month ago or probably more uh, and I had just seen it again but it was actually really easier than I thought it was but anyway I hope you enjoyed this problem and I hope to see you in my other videos